This quote is from the Harvard School of Public Health website. For years, Americans have been told to consume a high-fiber diet to lower the risk of colon cancer, mainly on the basis of results from relatively small studies. Larger and better designed studies have failed to show a link between fiber and colon cancer. FDA has concluded from this review that the totality of the publicly available scientific evidence not only demonstrates lack of significant scientific agreement as to the validity of a relationship between dietary fiber and colorectal cancer, but also provides strong evidence that such a relationship does not exist. As you know, natural fiber is an indigestible carbohydrate. It is found in fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts, legumes, along with five to 10 times as many of digestible carbohydrates. Eat at least 25 to 30 grams of dietary fiber each day, preferably from whole grains, fruits, vegetables, and legumes. A high percentage of calories from carbohydrates, but not from fat, was associated with increased breast cancer risk. In fact, the association was so bad, 220% increase in breast cancer for those who were getting over 60% of their calories from carbs, they canceled the study. Women who follow American Heart Association guidelines for lowering their serum cholesterol may actually be increasing their risk of heart disease, wrote Dr. Alan Gabby for the Townsend Letter for Doctors and Patients. Fiber intake should be approximately 50 grams daily if that amount can be tolerated. A minimum of 20, 35 grams per day is recommended. From all the lies about fiber, this one is the most obscene for two reasons. First, indigestible fiber is the primary cause of juvenile diabetes because a child duodenum is so tiny, it gets easily clogged with fiber. The resulting obstruction blocks pancreatic and bile ducts, which in turn causes pancreatic inflammation, damages insulin-secreting cells, and forever ruins the lives of children and their parents. Second, fiber, particularly in the insane amounts recommended by the Jocelyn Center, dramatically increases the damage from adult type 2 diabetes by interfering with daily measurements of blood glucose levels and by blocking the assimilation of medication and essential nutrients. DoctorsToTrust.com the world's number one site for short, annotated nutrition videos.